let's start with the, the ladies because we've got ladies semi-finals day coming up um at the USA Open in, in New York. Emma Navarro, Arena Sabalenka, Jessica Pagula, Carolina Mukova. Um right. What are we where are we looking at? We've got two Americans. We've got the prospect of a battle of the billion the billionaire the battle daughters. Of, battle of the billionaire daughters in the final. Do we think that's a do we think that's an actual possibility? That's a very big question. I mean, it has to be because there are only four players left in the draw, Joel. But very true. In terms of who I think is going to win the semis. I think that Sabalenka will have enough firepower to get it done. Um, I do think it could go to three. It could get a bit messy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure it's going to be the cleanest of tennis. Emma Navarro hasn't been playing the cleanest of tennis, but mm -hmm. I do think that the experience of being at this level previously for Sabalenka and not getting it last year, she does seem a bit laser focused. So I think... And now she's on text out as well. Exactly. So I do think that it could be a Sabalenka Pagula or a Sabalenka Mukova final. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but I would be surprised if it was an Emma Navarro final. Yeah, it feels like, as I say, it's it's now with Shion Tech out, it feels like it's it's uh Sabalenka's to lose. And I think she'll be looking at the rest of the draw thinking uh, obviously she can't under underestimate or, or or get complacent or anything, but certainly she's in that Yannick Sinner position, I think, of of looking at the rest of the field that's left mm. and thinking there's not there yeah. shouldn't be anything here to to frighten me um and i should be feeling confident um yeah about my chances yeah. of of adding a, a us open title to my trophy cabinet it would be very interesting wouldn't it if uh sabalenka ended the year on two slams and either yeah. on one that would be surely a form of motivation for sviontek in terms of the pagula look of a clash they played recently actually i was quite surprised that they played so recently um, they played it in Cincinnati, and that was a really tight three yeah three setter. sets five seven six four six two to Pagula. So that's very much a level playing field. As long as Mukova is feeling better, I think yes. um, she hasn't got much time to recover from a mm. tummy bug. So I'd have to say at the moment, Pagula for me has the edge because of the fact that Mukova might not be physically okay. feeling as well as she has done previously, yeah. and might not be able to train and practice as much in the lead up. Okay, well, let's look at some predictions for the men now. Sinner, Draper, Fritz, Tiafo. They've got a little bit more of a, a recovery time. We'll see these matches uh, on Friday, uh, UK Friday night, yes. Friday, uh, Saturday morning, possibly, depending on how late things go. Uh, as I say, Sinner, Draper, Fritz, Tiafo. Let's start with Fritz, Tiafo, the All American matchup. What are you thinking about this one? Because as I say earlier, Fritz. 6-1 in the head-to-head. -head. It's going to have an impact for sure. And the fact that Fritz did beat, you know, the top seed in, in the in the half that remained, uh, that's going to be a big form of confidence for him. I've said it, I feel like I've said it so much, this, this podcast, but it's a belief game. And I really think that the people who have it in their eyes at the moment are Taylor Fritz and Jack Draper. Okay. I don't necessarily know that will translate into a win for Jack because Yannick Sinner's level is so high. But for Fritz, I do think we'll see him in the final. There might be four sets. Um, probably is four sets because it is such a big deal getting over the line. He does get a bit nervous in some of those moments, which is fair. But so does Francis Tiafo. So what are you calling? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Fritz. I think Fritz will, over best of five, get, ultimately get the job done. I do you think um Sinner Draper is a bit trickier um what's the head to head you... I'm I'm looking it up at the moment I can it tell is... you it's one nil Jack Draper wow it is one nil Jack Draper they played yes. at um Queen's Club Queen's Club a few years ago mm. uh, and that was a, a big upset that was um quite a lot of fun actually so yeah uh, how much I, you read uh, into that 2021 not, wasn't it yeah not a lot grass court as well um yeah I'm not sure I think you've got to go with I think you've got to go with Yannick Sinner he's been the form player, he's um, been here, done that before. He's going to feel motivated. I mean, they're both going to feel motivated, but I feel like the Draper's going to need to go up a level or two um, to, uh, to 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 get the upset. Oh, are you going to go out there and just say the Jack Draper that I saw? I think he can definitely make it competitive, and if he is able to really take the ball away 
um, take the ball on and, and kind of take the time away from Yannick Sinner, that's a very different prospect to a Medvedev. Um, but it has to be plan A and plan A has to be working for Jack Draper to get mm. that result. Um, for Sinner, he's obviously the favourite going into that. Jack's got absolutely nothing to lose and people can be so dangerous in those moments. So I think for me, I'm trying to flip a coin as to which way I'm going to go. I believe Jack can do it, but I do think in those key moments, Yannick Sinner might be a bit okay. too rock solid. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to give you the matchup now. I want winner and number of sets. Okay. And we're going to end the episode there. Right. Navarro Sabalenka. Sabalenka 2. Sabalenka 2. Jesse Pagula, Carolina Mukova. Pagula in three. Mukova in two. Okay. Fritz Tiafo. I'll go Fritz in four. Thri- Thritz? <laughs> Thritz? You can't go for both of them. Uh, I go I'll Fritz in fr- Fritz in three. God, that's that's a that's a tongue twister. Fritz, Fritz in three. In three. Sinner Draper, the big one. I think it might be Sinner in five. I think it's really going to be an effort. Wow, okay. I'm going to go Sinner in four. I think, yeah, I think that sounds about right. But I think Jack Draper, he's going to he's gonna showcase what he's all about. I um, could also see Jack in three. I have go, no idea. Going down match. in a blaze of glory. Yeah. yeah, who knows? I mean, we've not spoken about Emma Raducanu and uh, the, the sort of fairy tale yeah. that was a few years ago. And is Jack Draper on a similar fairy tale? I mean, there are some parallels there. Not dropped to... Jack JP, yes, didn't come through qualifying, but both not dropped a set um, all the way through. Well, so. the Americans, I mean, Jesse Pagula hasn't dropped a set yet either, but Very when true. the Brits make it to a semi final, well, well, well. We certainly, we certainly, we, we well. live in hope. We, we do, certainly yeah. live in hope, but uh, we will have to see. Ladies' semi finals coming up today, men's semi finals tomorrow, but we're going to end our quarterfinals catch up there. Listeners, I hope you've enjoyed our latest episode of the Tennis Weekly podcast. Remember to subscribe to us to stay up to date on all the action to come as we head into finals weekend at Flushing Meadows. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and all major podcasting platforms out there. And if you like what you're hearing, then make sure to leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Plus, like and subscribe to us on YouTube and hit that notification bell. You can also watch this as a video episode on YouTube, as well as follow us on social media and email the show. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and X. And the handle for all of those is Tennis Weekly Pod. We have an Etsy sale on at the moment. We have 25% off our merch and that's at etsy.com slash shop slash Tennis Weekly Podcast. You can email us tennisweeklypod at gmail.com or do check out our website tennisweekly.co.uk. And we will be back on Saturday morning at Tennis Weekly HQ for our semi finals catch up of the US Open brought to you by Fungi Ball. So I hope you can join us for that. But in the meantime, it's goodbye from Chris. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>